hello everyone hello 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 how you all doing today hope you guys are good and hope everything is going all fine and how's it be going and i know this time around let's say it's easy the bible says the just shall live by faith let's keep holding on to what christ said he said we shouldn't say anything negative meaning what meaning we always have to profess positive right so even though it's hard we always have to say we always have to say it's okay it's easy you know because it's what you say is what you get right so keep saying it and when you keep saying it you keep getting what you're saying but when you when you keep saying negative you keep keep getting negative so that is why your ways are very important so keep saying something good even though you've not seen it now but keep saying it because the more you say it the more you see it and the more it's manifest right so that's what faith does faith is the evidence of things you offer things you've not seen but you keep saying it. You keep, you know, picturing it. And one day, by the power of God, it will surely come to pass. So just a quick advice for everyone. To my brother, my sister, my mommy, my daddy, my loved ones out there. Just a quick advice for every one of you. And um, may the Lord bless you wherever you're watching me from. I'm here in Canada. The weather is very hot and everywhere is hot now. So, how many degree? How many? Can you ask Google? How many degree? Just ask Google. Go ask Google. Let me see. So, it's hot here in Canada. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know if it's hot there. But normally, Africa is a very hot place. Uh, and I don't know. You may be in Europe. I think Europe is hot at this time of August. I think it's, it's hot too. So I just have a quick advice for you. And um, how's it be going? It's 21 degrees. Okay. It's 21 degree. degrees, right? So it's very, it's hot. It's really hot, Laurel, to compare. So I have a very quick advice for everyone out there. And um, don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You see, there was a time, uh, I remember then when I was in Africa, um, there is a novel we write, read at, in school, at school then, it's called My Father's Car, right? So, you know, sometimes, <laughs> the according to the, um, the guy, and um, sometimes when his daddy got a car, and there, it came to a, uh, a time when they, they woke up and... When the, the daddy want to start a car, it wouldn't start, you know? So all they will do is that they will keep pushing. They just keep pushing the car. All of them will start pushing the car. Then the car gets start, right? So when the car starts, it will take them to their destination before their daddy will go drop them at school and go to work. So that's, that's how that novel goes. That's, that's the only thing, the only point I picked out from that novel, my, dad, my father's car, right? So, so when you compare that novel, what happened, the character, what happened in that novel, when you compare it to real life, is the point is that in every situation, in whatever situation, whatever thing you may be passing through, it's not the end of your life, you understand? I know many out there are passing through a lot of things, but I just want to tell you this afternoon that it's not the end of your life. That God is on your side. Don't give up. Don't be. Don't let that thing distract you from going to where you're going. And don't let that thing you're passing through distract you from achieving what you're supposed to achieve. And don't let that thing you are passing through distract you from, from pushing on. You know, so that's why I said earlier on that it is easy. 
Because, because when you keep saying it is easy, things is going to be easy for you. But when you keep saying it's not easy, it's not going to be easy. That's the reality of life. You understand? So whatever the God has said, we not fail. It's all it comes to pass. Because there's a reason God says we should have faith. There's a reason why he said so. So everything God says is, is meaningful. And it's, it's not meaningless. It's meaningful. So that's why we we have to we have to hold on to what he said in his word. You know? Keep pushing. Keep 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 just keep pushing. You're gonna get there one day. You see? Just you know that car. It's not working and you have nothing to do anymore. And you just feel like, oh, it's the end of the world. No. Because if you abandon the car there, let's assume you are a car. If you abandon the car, you say, oh, I'm not going to take care of that car. I'm not going to, I can't even push it. I'm just going to leave it there the way it is. It's going to get rust. At the end, it's just going to be there, hide all, nothing. But at the moment, you begin to think, oh, what am I going to do with this car? Do I repair it? Okay, let me call people to come and help me, you know, push the car. So at the moment, you think that. At the moment, so let me keep on. Let me still. I think this car will, will still work. I think this car can still can still do a lot of things for me. I'm not going to give up on this car. That is you. I'm talking to you. You are the car. Let's assume you are the car now. So at the moment you say, "Oh, I'm not going to give up on this car. I'm not going to give up on myself." Definitely, you're going to get there. And definitely, you're going to find all means to start the car. And definitely, you're going to find all means to take the car to the mechanic, for the mechanic to, 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 to service the car. So that is how the issue of life is. So you don't need to give up in whatsoever you're doing, in whatsoever you're pursuing. And it's never too late. Don't let, regardless of what you're saying, because the things you see, they are just there. They are temporary. They are they are limited. But the one you cannot see is unlimited. Just keep having that vision that I can do it. In whatsoever I can do it. Don't let the circumstances of life weigh you down. Don't let age weigh you down. Don't let uh, marriage weigh you down. Don't let whatsoever, whatsoever, don't let it hold you down. Keep saying to yourself, I can do it. As far as I have life, I can do it. Keep giving yourself hope. Keep giving yourself hope. Don't, don't idolize yourself. Don't be distracted by what you're saying. You know what, my, my, my beloved ones? The devil is, is a liar. He can just distract you with many things. He can distract you with, by, by telling you, Oh, I'm old. I, I don't think I will be able to to achieve what I need to achieve. I don't think I will be able to go back to school because I'm old. It can distract you by saying, oh, uh, I, I'm not married. Ah, look at my age. All my mates, they've gotten married. So I must see this one life. It can distract you with many things. And it can also distract you by saying, oh, I've been married for years now. I don't have any child. No issue. Nothing, nothing. The devil is a very tricky person. It can distract you with a lot of things. It can distract you with, oh, look at my mates. You know, they are making it. I'm not making it. So, you know, you know when you start having all these things, all this thinking in your man, mind, this contributes to, to, this can contribute and, 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 and uh, alleviate sickness. You know, so that is why you don't need to think. And don't, don't look at people. Just keep doing it on your own. Don't look at what... Whether people are doing it, people are making it, or people are not making it. As far as you have Christ, as far as you have faith, if you keep persisting, you're going to get there. Do you get me now? If you keep persisting, you're going to get there. Irrespective of the situation, irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of the, the hardship. You understand? You're going to get there. Do you understand me? So don't be don't be devastated with, with what you're saying. Because the things that you're seeing is they are not real. They are able to change. 
They are able to pass by. You see, the Bible says, say heaven and earth will pass away. What does that mean? It means things that you're seeing. It means everything in this, like, you know, material things, everything, all these things, they are going to pass away. But what will not pass away is, is his word. And that is why you have to hold on to that word. Because everything he has said, everything he has said, they will not pass. And it's going to be meaningful when you hold on to, the, to it. It's going to give your, it will give, surely, 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 definitely give your life a meaning. And those words will definitely transform your life. And those words will definitely elevate your life. Praise the Lord. So I'm just out there to, to, to encourage somebody, you that is giving up, you that is saying it is finished. It has not finished. Jesus Christ has said that for you on the cross. He said it is finished. So he has said that and you don't have to say it. You don't have to give up because he's already given it up on the cross for you. So you don't have to, to give it up. So don't let the devil rejoice over you. Just keep, the moment, the more you keep like waking up, the more you keep persisting, the more you keep holding up to faith, you keep having to, Failed, the more you're putting him to shame. I'm assuring you this, it's real. The more you keep doing it, the more, you know, at the moment you start saying, oh, I, I'm the, you start like feeling reluctantly from doing what you're going to, you're supposed to do. That moment, at that moment, the devil will begin to rejoice. The moment you start crying, oh, all my mates are having children. Oh, look at me. Ah, all my mates are getting married. Oh, look at me. All my mates are buying cars. Oh, look at me. All my mates are getting their, their certificates, their diploma. Oh, look at me. The moment you start doing that, you are wasting your time. And the devil is happy with that thing you were doing. But the moment you say, no, I'm going to rise up. I'm going to do it. Even though I fall. You know what the Bible says? Even though you fall seven times, you will rise again. Praise the Lord. So even though you fail, you're going to rise again. Even though you couldn't get it now, I'm assuring you that when you do it again, you are going to get it. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's the things that you are seeing is too small for you to give up. The things that you are seeing is too small for you to give up. Okay? Those challenges, those things that is making you to go depressed, those things, they are too small for you to give up. And when you do that, God is going to hold you responsible for that. So that is why you don't have to do that. You just keep, you no, know, I'm going to give you a secret. Anytime you wake up in the morning, you just keep prophesying good things to yourself. Keep saying the good things because whatever you say is what you will get. That is why when you wake up in the morning, you keep prophesying good. Today is going to be a good day for me. Today I'm walking in victory. I'm vigorous. I'm healthy. I'm strong. There is no sickness in my path. I'm walking in the righteousness of God. I'm what God says I am. Christ in me is the hope of glory. I've overcome the world. What does this mean? You've overcome challenge. You've overcome sickness. You've overcome disease. You've overcome depression. You've, over you've overcome everything that you need to overcome in life. Don't give up. Don't give up. Those things are too small for you to give up. And don't let the devil rejoice over you. Just keep rejoicing so that he will be ashamed. Yes, that is what I mean. Keep rejoicing so that, so that he will be ashamed. Yeah, so don't waste your time. Because at the time you start crying, sitting down, thinking, you are wasting your time. And those things, they are not going to give you good health. Right? Really? You, they are not going to give you good health. So keep rejoicing and keep saying, I can do it. Because the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And I'm assuring you today that you also, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Yes. When you keep saying it and you keep getting what you're saying. I'm assuring you, I'm a victim. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I am a victim of this. There was a time ago I had, I had a pain on my breast. You know, I just keep going. 
uh, every time when I woke up in the morning because that is what I was taught to do. In my church, my church where I go to before, I was taught to do that. Even when I went for healing center, I was taught to do that. You know, it's what you say that will, that will, that will, that will occur in your life. It's what you say that will happen in your life. So every time I woke up in the morning, I just keep, I go to the mirror, I go to the washroom, then I will face the mi mirror. I will start, you know what I do? I will start professing good. I will say I'm vigorous, even though, even though at that time I was very sick. But what I say, I just keep looking at the mirror because I will say, you say, when you behold in your mirror, you, you, yourself in the mirror, you say, you see your image be transformed. From glory to glory. What do you mean? You picture yourself. You program yourself. And you see yourself. You, 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 the way you, you picture yourself. You keep saying things. And when you keep saying that thing. It begins. It will, it will start occurring. It will start happening in your life. You know these words that we say. They have meaning. It doesn't go away. It doesn't just go like that. Everything you say with your mouths. They are meaningful. Praise the Lord. So I just keep looking at the mirror every morning I woke up. I keep saying I'm vigorous. I keep saying I'm strong. I keep saying I'm healthy. I keep saying, oh, I'm not depressed. Even though as then, because you see, even though I was seeing myself as then, that I was sick, but I didn't agree. I didn't stand to that. I just keep prophesying to myself. You say, I'm healed. I'm strong. I'm vigorous. I'm healed. I am the healer of God. I'm what God says I am. I'm joint heir with Christ. Christ in me is the hope of glory. I've overcome the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The greater one lives in me. I am more than a conqueror. With Christ, I can do all things. Oh, I keep, I just keep saying that. I just keep professing that to my life. I just keep pro professing that. The more I do that, I begin to realize that the more I do that, the more I was doing that, the more I was getting healed. I keep saying it every day. I keep proclaiming it every day. And then when everything vanished, then when everything vanished, I, if I'm lying, I'm, if what I'm saying right now, my son can be my weakness. My mother can be my weakness. Then my husband was not here with me. You know, I keep saying it. You know, after all this, you know what? At the end, I got what I said. And so that is why you don't have to say things negative. Because anything you said with your mouth is what you're going to get. And those parents, quick advice to parents who are insulting their children. You see, it's not the day you say it, you will get the, the feedback. It's not the day you said it. You will get the, the, the payback. You might have said it for a long time. It might take two years to, 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 to occur, to manifest. It might take one year, it might take three years. So that is, it might take two months, one month to manifest. So I'm just quickly advising you, especially People who insult their children, who insult their children, who say all sort of things to their children. Please, my dear, please don't say negative things to your child. Even though people are saying it, tell them, rebuke them from saying it. And tell them, even though the school teacher, they are saying things about your child. Whenever you get there, tell them my child is not like that. Because it's what you agree that will happen. It's what you agree. If they say your son is doing this, say no, I don't agree with you. My child is not like that. It might be, it might be, it might be what they are saying, but don't don't agree with what they are saying. Don't agree with what they are saying. So you just have to, to be positive. You just have to, if you know you've been insulting your child, if you know you've been saying negative things or insulting your child with, uh, with, uh, with scars or whatever, because I know where I came from. Oh my God, Nigeria. Most parents there, they just like insulting, use all insultive language for their children. But today I have come 
to tell you, my dear, I've come to tell you, don't say things negative to your child. As I've said before, don't say negative things with your mouth. Because it's what you said, that is what you get. Don't, please, don't. If you've been doing that, today you've helped me. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. It's not going to, to help you in any ways. It's not going to help you. You just, the moment you start saying those things, you are inviting demons. And there are demons around. Though you don't meet them, but there are demons around. Invisible people around that will take your word and manifest your word for you. Okay? So this is just a quick advice to parents out there. May the Lord God bless you. And may the Lord God promote you. May you reap what you sow in the name of Jesus. And also, the moment you start saying positive things to your child, or to yourself, you are sowing, and you are sowing, and you're going to reap. You're going to reap when it's time of harvest. You're going to reap healthy. You're going to, you're going to reap good things at the end, positive things at the end. Remember, your word is powerful, and your word is meaningful. You know, you know the Bible says. It says the word you said. They are powerful. That's just a quick advice for my loved ones out there. I love every one of you. And don't give up. Never give up in life. You see me that is, that is, that is talking to you. I've gone through a lot of things in life. I've gone through a lot. So I've gone through and it's my responsibility to advise people. To encourage people. To console people. To cancel people. You understand? So life doesn't worth giving up. You get my point? It doesn't worth giving up. And God doesn't want you to give up. Because at the moment you give up, the devil will be rejoicing. So don't let the, re the devil rejoice over you. Don't let him rejoice over you. No matter what. Irrespective of what you've gone through. Irrespective of what I've gone through. I never give up. And I never ne let anything put me down. Though it's tough, but the Lord has always been my strength. Praise the Lord. So this is a quick advice for everyone out there. Those who are sick, I pray the Lord healing upon your life. The Bible says by stripe that we are healed. I proclaim healing upon your life and your family. Those who are in need, I proclaim. I pray that the Lord should send you a helper wherever you are. And... Uh, the Lord will meet to all your needs and he will supply all your riches according to his glory in the name of Jesus. And those who have been married for years and nothing happened, I just want to tell you that you shouldn't give up. Don't give up as far as Christ lives. Don't give up. He's there for you. Just look unto him because when you look unto him, he's going to look after you. But at the moment you start looking onto men, it's going to be like, oh, this one has not yet, you know, no, it's, has not yet really understand me. So that is why he said, say, look unto me, for I am the author and I am the finisher of the faith. Praise the Lord. Thank you for listening to me. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God promote you in all your doing, all your endeavors. May the Lord God transform your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord God meet to all your needs and all your desire in life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord God strengthen you in every area. May He strengthen you physically. May He strengthen you spiritually in every area of life. May the Lord God bless you and your family. I love you all with the love of Christ. Shalom. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Bye.